the final stage of adding some detail to this site plan is to add the rest of the blocks. So we're talking about people, cars, and uh, I'd also like to add some slope markers. These kind of indicate where uh, a, a slightly steeper slope might exist. So let's let's maybe start with the with the slope markers. What we're going to do is drop in some pre-made blocks along this line and align them with the kind of general direction of the slope. So before I do that, I'll create a layer that just holds the the kind of sundry information. So I'll create a new layer. And I'll call it Psi Blocks. The layer can be color zero, sorry, color seven and make it current. Then we'll insert, insert, browse, and I've got a block here called slope mark. The horizontal line goes where the, the ground is generally at the top of its slope, and then this indicates the direction of the ground away from that. So I want to be able to control rotation, and I do want to control scale as well. So I'll keep ticks on both of those. Okay. So here's my standard slope marker. Press return for the scale, and then align it with the slope. You know, as we get a bit further away and the, the slope starts to get longer, I'll increase the size of the of the block. Now I could take uniform scale off to make it just longer instead of wider. So I'll take uniform scale off, place it here, return, but put in a in a Y scale factor of one point two. So it's getting a bit longer, it's not getting any wider, it's just getting longer. Put one here, return. Scale factor 1.4. Okay, see how that works. A little tidy up required here. If I just move this one a bit closer, and then I want to put some more in over here. Don't want to change the scale factor of this one or this one. Put in another one under the tree. Now they're going to start to get a bit bigger again. Return once, then 1.2. Then return once, then 1.4. Might put in a final one here. Turn the O snaps off, I think. Return once, then 1.6. Okay, a bit hidden there in amongst the shadow and things, but it will still print and you'll still see the slope. So that's quite a useful little thing to put on site plan as well. It gives people a general idea of how that where things are kind of steep. So it's reasonably reasonably graded there, but a bit steep here. So we put in slope markers to to show that. Right, I'm going to place on some vehicles now. So I've got five different cars. Try and avoid using the same car twice if you can. That's unavoidable on big sites. Okay, now we don't want to change the scale of these, but we do want to change the rotation. So I'll click OK. OK. Remember, this building's in Spain, so the cars will be on the, the other side of the road. So I'll have this car just driving along the road. Let's put in another car to browse. Car 2, a bit sporty. A bit back to the future, this one. So let's have him travelling up this way. Let's just set the rotation. Let's say that Senor Gaspar owns a beetle. We'll place it in his garage. And then maybe a drive car on the driveway approaching. Oops. I'll do that again because I got to rotate it. OK. 
Okay, it's quite a narrow driveway. And then finally, I'll put in a car sitting in one of the driving, one of the parking bays. If you want it rotated properly, you can put ortho back on. So that's quite a small car for that bay, but it looks okay. Okay, so that's vehicles sorted. Now those came in, they've probably got their own layer. Um, we've got side vehicle, that's the blue. But because they're on the current layer with side blocks, freezing side blocks will freeze all the vehicles. Just like freezing side veg would freeze all the plants. I'll just demonstrate that. So all the plants freeze even though it's Psy shrub and the three Psy tree layers. They're controlled by the one layer, Psy veg. Okay, let's drop in a couple of uh, people figures now. We've got a horse being led by a person. Maybe they're out here in the field. Turn ortho off. And they're walking up the hill. Now I've got person sitting, person standing, person walking, and some rocks as well. So let's do somebody sitting down. Maybe they're sitting here, just looking out from the back of the driveway. Somebody standing. Looks like they're kind of doing something, so maybe he's maybe he's opening the car. And then somebody walking. Maybe that's maybe that's mm, Senor Gaspar walking away from the car. <coughs> and finally, the last block that I'm going to drop in now. Uh, some some rocks. I'm going to place some rocks at the entrance way. Make them a bit bigger. Scale them up by 2.5. Ah, my mistake. <coughs> I do want to specify the scale. 2.5. Place them there and then move them slightly. think that will do. Okay, so that's the kind of adding the the kind of frills at the end. It's quite good fun, easy to do. And if I make layer 0 the current layer, then I've got two layers that if I control them I can turn all the vegetation off. And I can turn all the blocks off. So psi blocks and psi veg will clear up the drawing very easily for me. I'll bring them back just for now. Okay, good. <coughs>